There's a new little enclosure company out on the market around the UK right now. They're also out in Germany. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make one of Mantis Den's amazing in front opening enclosures. These are exactly the same size as the small little Exoterra Nanos. Can these compare with them? Let's show you how to build it. Once you've purchased your item from mantisden.co.uk or their German website, you'll get your box arrived just like this with a lovely little business card. Along with the business card, you get a little bag of gubbins. That's got all the brackets, the clips, the latches, some extra mesh. If the wire mesh that does come with this is a bit too big, you can use that. You also get your flat pack enclosure. It's just there in this little wrapper ready for you but to be go. Be careful, there is sharp mesh inside. So when you are unraveling this bit, just take it extra cautiously. But you just open it out, you'll see the blue panels. There is a blue protective film over both sides of the acrylic plastic um, enclosure. You will need to get that off, but be very careful with the mesh. There is sharp edges. If you do decide to use that, just be extra careful. Grab these each individual panel and take off the protective film from both Once sides. Once you've stripped every single piece off, you can start laying the enclosure out flat packed on the work surface so you can figure out which piece goes into which area. This piece is the back panel. You can tell that because it's clear, there's no ventilation. You've got holes in each corner to allow for screws. That is the back panel. Then we move over to the side panels. We've got ventilation strips running all the way down. You've got one hole about three inches away from the bottom of the enclosure. That's vitally important and it needs to go towards the bottom of the enclosure, not the top. And it's exactly the same on the other side, just reversed. You've got this panel, which is the front door. You can tell that by the two little legs that stick out in the top corners. They attach into the side panels, those holes that we've just shown on the side panels, three inches off the bottom, that's where they'll sit. And the simple square piece with no ventilation, that's the base, that's the very bottom piece. Now you'll notice some of the holes are a little further away from the edge compared to the other side. The ones that are furthest away, that's the front of the, the enclosure. Next piece is this little three inch tool section that goes on the front of the enclosure below the door. That allows for you to add a deep substrate into this While enclosure. While we're showing you all of these little aspects, we're putting it down onto the table in the order that it's likely to get built. So we have the side panels on the side, the front panels on the front, the door on the front, the back panel in the middle, the base at the bottom, and so on and so on. It's always wise to be highly organized. The only panels that are left now are the roof panels, the ventilation panels. You've got one big piece just here. Again, we've got holes that are further away from the front of the enclosure. They're the front holes. Again, you'll see why when it all goes back together. You've also got a slot. Now that slot is for the latch that keeps the door shut. So keep that in mind, that always goes at the front of the enclosure. You've got some holes closest to the ventilation hole. You put your mesh over the top of that hole, then the extra piece, the only piece that's left over, goes over the top of that just to help secure it all in place. It does come with longer screws that are gonna be used for that but section. In the bag that did come with the kit, you get this fabric material, which is a replacement for the stainless steel mesh. It's stainless steel mesh so that you don't get any rust problems or corrosion problems. You can use this instead if you feel the need to, if your species requires it. In the packet, you also get these corner adapters. These are to help secure all of the plastic and acrylic panels together it makes it nice and secure so it really is drop proof you can drop this and it just will not break you get a latch that's to help lock the door when it is closed four long bolts with nuts they're the ones for the top panel to secure the mesh in place and a load of little screws to help you secure it all together the first thing to do is to get the base the bottom of the enclosure now remember you've got a gap between the front of the enclosure and the first holes the bigger the gap means it goes at the front of the enclosure again you'll see why a little bit later you want to get the corner pieces and put them over the holes make it so the curved point of the actual block points inwards get your little screws and attach it through the holes through the plastic into these corner brackets and do that on all four corners you do get an allen key with the kit to help you along with this. Once that piece is done, 
get the small little three inch piece with the holes at the bottom. That goes at the front of the enclosure and secure it to the blocks with the little screws provided. Then move over to one of the side pieces, making sure the obscure round hole is at the front of the enclosure on the bottom. Then fasten it together with the little screws provided. Continue doing exactly the same on the other side panel, again making sure the little obscure hole is facing forward and at the bottom. After that, you'll end up with something that looks like this. The next step is to move on to the back panel. Remember that's the biggest panel with no ventilation, just the holes to help secure it. Lay the enclosure down on its face. Ideally, if you can put something down to stop any scratching, that would be beneficial. Lay the panel down on top of everything where it would normally be if it was on the back and secure it down with the little screws that are provided. The next step is to get some more of the corner pieces and you want to attach these to the top of the enclosure where the holes are. You can align them up perfectly fine, making sure there is a flat surface pointing upwards for the lid to fit onto. As with always repetitively through this video, secure it with the small screws that are provided. Once this has been done on all four top corners, it's now time to start fitting the door. Remembering that the door panel has the little legs sticking out and those little legs go into the obscure little holes that are at the front of the enclosure, three inches off the bottom, and make sure it works in perfectly fine. But then it's time to start working on the roof, the ventilation side of it. You need to decide whether you're gonna use the mesh or the material for your ventilation purposes. Now me, I'm gonna be using this as a quarantine slash grow out enclosure for baby morning geckos. So the mesh I don't really need, it's a bit risky using it because the babies will escape. I'm going to use the fabric. You lay it down over the big hole in the middle of the biggest piece and cut it to shape, adding a little bit extra to allow for the screws to go through the material when they connect both pieces together. Once the material is cut down to the correct size, lay it on top of the big panel and then lay the smaller panel over the top, aligning up the screw holes and poking the big screws through the holes. The big screws are to go through the little panel, through the material and through the main panel, securing it all together with the nuts and bolts that are provided. Then it's time to fasten this top onto the enclosure. You want to open the door, make sure you've got the slot at the front of the enclosure and then secure it to the top using the little screws provided. The next step, which is not the final step, you just want to go around every single screw with the Allen key and just double check everything is nice and tight. We then move on to the final piece. This is the pièce de résistance, as some people say. You want to add the latch onto the front of the door. It's a simple case of put the latch onto the front of the door and secure it from behind with the little screws provided. Don't secure it too tight, you still want to be able to move it. Then you have a fully functioning Mantis Den enclosure. These come in three different sizes, small, medium and large. This is the large. They range prices from £15 up to £30. I hope you do enjoy. Feel free to let us know what you use your enclosures for and feel free to send us some pictures of how yours have turned out.